So The Vanished Bride is a mystery novel and it imagines that the Bronte sisters were amateur sleuths before they were famous authors. It's set in one summer in 1845 when all the, the Brontes were at home under the same roof again for the first time in a long time and they hear of a murder at a nearby village and they decide to investigate. To write this novel, I really wouldn't have done it unless I could have had a lot of research behind it and a lot of love for my subject as well. Um, I love the Bronte sisters. I've loved them since I was 10. And so I've done a lot of reading, um, spent many, many hours at the Bronte Parsons Museum and read letters and looked at their tiny books and spent time in their room um, and I suppose most of all joining up the dots to see what can be possible, what might have been possible and to me it seems that these three incredibly bright, curious, interesting women definitely could have been detectives. I like a lot of people, I think I thought I knew a lot about the Bronte sisters, but there was so much for me to discover that I didn't know. Um, I didn't know that Charlotte had a deep, passionate longing for her tutor, um, Monsieur Heger, that she taught her in Brussels. Um, and I didn't know about Branwell's scandalous affair with Mrs. Robinson of Thorpe Green and how he really hoped and believed that he might one day marry Mrs. Robinson, um, completely wrongly as it turned out. And I think I'm, I really didn't know that much about Patrick, who is in some ways one of the most interesting of the Brontes. Um, he was really quite a revolutionary man. He advised a young woman who'd got pregnant out of wedlock not to rush into marriage. Um, he told one of the wives of his curate who was complaining about domestic abuse to leave her husband. And I think those are some of the really interesting things that we know that surely would have shaped the way that the sisters grew up. So people often ask me who my favourite Bronte sister is and, um, and I, never, I can never say that because I just love them all individually for different reasons. I love Charlotte because she is, she really is an author and a, as a writer I see so much of the, the authorly angst and anxiety in her letters. Um, I love Emily because she never conformed to anything. She's just so fascinating, so forceful and everything we know about her personality really is in her poetry and in her novel. And I love Anne because she's quiet and often dismissed as the least interesting Bronte sister but that's so far from the truth and is absolutely fascinating, quietly rebellious and very passionate about equality and fair treatment for all. So I can't really say that I have a favourite Bronte sister but there is a clue in the pen name that I use, Bella Ellis. So in The Vanished Bride um, it's written from the point of view of all three sisters and I worried a bit that I would have to focus hard on changing my style for each chapter um, but actually after a while they became their own voices and my fictional versions of the, the sisters just came to life on the page so every time was, I was writing from one of their points of view it just became natural to slip into that voice. It's so interesting to think what life would have been like for lady detectors in the 1850s. Um, I think it would have been a hindrance because women just weren't taken seriously as professional individuals unless they were teachers or governesses. Um, but also it definitely would have helped them because they could go places unnoticed, uh, people wouldn't have paid them much attention 
they could probably get into rooms that gentlemen couldn't get into and ask conversation, have conversations with other women that other people couldn't have. So I think actually on balance it would have been a benefit. So I'm at the Bronte Parsonage Museum right now and it really is an integral part of the book of course because it's their home, that's where they lived um, and it's really its own character in the book. It's the hub of the family, it's a warm place, a place full of love and yet at that time it was, there were no trees, it was on the edge of the moor and it was also quite a wild and desolate looking place as well. Next, I'm working on the second book in the Bronte Mysteries series, which is going to be very fun and interesting. I'm taking us into some dark places and possibly you might even meet a Victorian serial killer. <laughs>